imagined your sister would have sided with the Abyss. I mean, I feel sad, but I feel a little bit better, that's for sure. Well, keep your chin up. Hyman believes in both of you. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? Mm-hmm. She said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Paimon bets she still has lots more to tell us. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. <laughs> I'm glad to have you as a guide, Paimon. <laughs> then Paimon will be sure to keep up the good work. <laughs> Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... Hmm... Hmm, I still need to find that god. You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. <laughs> I need to teach her a lesson she won't forget. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna be throwing hands the second I see her again. Ooh, Paimon supports that idea. Just the <laughs> thought of it so satisfying. <laughs> well, we've ruled out two gods so far, the Animal and Geo Archons. So, next... <laughs> we go to Inazuma. After weeks of filler episodes, we're finally getting another Archon quest. We wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuma? Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. Great! We came to the right place. <laughs> Let's go. But the chance of success is incredibly small. <laughs> <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Supposing you survive that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree, the closed nation policy of Inazuma. Ooh. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. <laughs> I like how every other region has been very welcoming to us, while Inazuma is just like, yeah, you're gonna die, buddy. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Oh. Uh, the raft idea sounds a little on the dangerous side. Plus, Paimon would definitely get seasick. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> considering the fact you came out of the sea. You could ask someone from the Crux Fleet if they have some way Ooh. of getting you to Inazuma. They're well known in Liyue. If you're able to persuade their captain, Beidou, Yo. then the hardest part will be out of the way. She's finally gonna get the spotlight she deserves. Then there's no time to lose! Let's go find Captain Beto! Mm-hmm. I'm actually pretty happy she's getting her screen time. <laughs> Considering the fact that she was one of the first characters to be in the game. Free up, Beto. <gasps> yo! Yo! If it isn't Beto and bootlegged ether. Wait, I know you. You're that traveler, aren't you? The one who fought against the Fatui and Osile, right? Judging by the clothes on your back and... <laughs> this floating thing. I guess that time has come. <laughs> she just called you a floating thing, Paimon. What are you gonna do? Hey! The name's not floating thing! It's Paimon! <laughs> this young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally, he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. <laughs> the Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, things get a little one-sided. I don't have a vision, but I mean... Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Get this. It's a masterless vision. Oh. Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Oh. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. Hmm. Well, we're gonna get all the visions at some point anyway, but a vision is of no use to me. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Mm hmm. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless Vision, or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. Uh, Up to you. <laughs> well, that was easy. You just want him to take part in your tournament! <laughs> Before we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. Beto said that they had to be renowned fighters. Hmm. 
who will we be up against? Wait, you're telling me these are the competitors? Bruh, if they got a fit like this and they look like everybody else in the crowd? <laughs> <laughs> the Clash is a comprehensive test of fighting ability. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, Paimon's wondering... Are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. Uh-huh. But for us, even four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep looking around. I'll see you in the arena. But I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. Are you here for the Crux Clash too? That's right. Nothing beats real-life combat for honing your skills. That's what our master taught us. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as Force Dispersal. Ooh. It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. Is that really possible? I mean, Venti can do that too. <sighs> <sighs> We're clearly not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. If we don't start making progress soon, we'll probably run out of money to pay the tuition fees uh, and we'll still have nothing to show for all our training. What? There's a tuition fee? <laughs> but here we are, having trained under him directly all this time without even a hint of improvement. Master is getting increasingly impatient with us. Are you sure he's just not milking you for your money right now? Okay, I, I kind of feel bad for these two. Let's see what this guy has to say, though. Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash, too? If so, seems I found myself another new adversary. <laughs> he looks like he has Zhao's cut. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. Huh, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as champion. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seem to get on with just about everyone socially. In most people's eyes, I am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, I'd never let the praise get to my head. <laughs> I know I haven't reached perfection yet, because there's one thing I'm still missing, a vision. Of course. You have so much self-confidence. <laughs> so to recap, we're up against an inflated ego, some gullible guys paying way too much for their kung fu classes, and another guy who's just... really average. <laughs> Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. <laughs> yeah, this is no sweat. I'm spaced. Wait, uh, aren't you... Oh, did I hear that right? Oh. The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the right of parting. Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get his autograph later. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> I trust you are aware that, uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament? Yeah, I don't have a vision, though. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Okay. I think this option sounds like something Nether would say. Yeah! Also, don't forget to mention that the previous battles include, but are not limited to, Storm Terror, Devalin, and Fatui Harbinger Child. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that smug! Might as well declare him the champion already! <laughs> hey, so Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision mirrors rule in this tournament. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the tournament. You know, just to avoid any misunderstandings. <laughs> yeah. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? <laughs> yeah. Ether's just built different, that's all. Oh. Our next competitor oh. is seen by many as the favorite to win this tournament. His first bout begins now! Y you You're the hero they're talking about? Ugh, how am I supposed to win now? Is he... Is he gonna even approach me or... Oh, this guy's backing up! <laughs> this guy's... 
This isn't even fair! How am I able to use a sword and he gets to use his hands only? Like, you, you guys watching this? <laughs> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. We all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. <laughs> Bruh! Uh, all right, then. <laughs> I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. Maybe we should ask around, see what we can find out about our opponent in the final round. Paimon thinks we might need to up our game a little. Why should just be some regular-ass dude? Hey there! Uh, well, where did the other guy go? Uh... He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. <gasps> there was blood all over the place. Oh no! His opponent was pretty freaked out by it. He kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. Oh no, poor man. Oh, alright then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery. Hang in there. Yeah. <sighs> we still haven't got any useful information yet. Maybe we can go talk to Beto. Surely she's gotta know something. Man, rip that guy. We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? <laughs> it's vital that we make it to Inozuma. If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? Oh, okay. Wait, we have to walk all the way over there? Can't we just, like, talk, like, behind that rock or something? Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? Yeah, pretty much. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision, and not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. <laughs> what? Are you saying that we smell? Or are you Tanjiro now? Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! <laughs> Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? All I did was touch a statue of the Seven. Yeah, that's actually kind of true. Hmm. Extraordinary. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the Divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. Oh. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. <laughs> a camera angle. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Sure, let's go together. Very well, let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash! This is the final match! We've seen many exciting battles today, and now, at long last, the two finalists have emerged! <laughs> Where's the other dude at? He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. <laughs> Introducing Liu's traveling hero! <laughs> Aww, I could be scared out of that face. As for our other combatant, uh, he still hasn't arrived. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Don't tell me they stole it. That's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Bruh. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? <laughs> Was nobody watching? 
No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. By the way, what made you suddenly think of checking the prize in the first place? I heard it the moment it was stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? <gasps> You'll see shortly. Oh, is that the dude who stole it? You caught up with me? How is that possible? Drat! If I only had a vision. Or if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me. <laughs> do it then, you won't. This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into. And on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. He could hear that too? Damn! Looks like Rosario's got some competition. I'd intended to win the contest your skill alone all along. But then you showed up. <laughs> you showed up, you meddling kids in that emergency food. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. Jesus. Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, whoa. To go that far, do <laughs> He's not playing games. No, no. Do what you want, but please, don't brand my forehead, please. <laughs> <sighs> he has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. Yet still the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Uh huh? What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? Uh, no, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. You truly are generous. The treasure order leaves in a frenzy. Huh? Paimon doesn't get it. Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. Oh. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. Okay, I'll try. <sighs> the vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. Oh, he's sad. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. Why are you so attached to this vision? Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. Oh. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill, Ooh. a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. <gasps> I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. No! In his last moments, 
What expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Oh, That's sad. Perhaps one day, I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Kazuha! <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. Hmm. All right then, it's time we returned. If you need to talk more, I'm here to listen. Do not let my feelings trouble you. <laughs> Aww. But thank you. Man. He just saw his best friend die in front of him. This man needs a therapist after seeing that. What? What? What happened to the crowd? If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. Oh. It seems that the crux clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Captain Beto was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue Harbor. Oh, she's in big trouble, isn't she? <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. And our hero here is the champion. So will we be able to travel to Inazuma now? Yes, I believe so. <gasps> Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is a woman of her word. Yes. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. Paimon believes you'll find a way for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. Oh. Man. Dang! We're so close. So close to Inazuma right now. I'm so hyped for the next Archon quest, but... Yeah, I'll see you there at Inazuma, so... Take care.